Evidence of the new wave of coronavirus wasn't hard to spot in Burton-on-Trent today. Queues forming at the council-run test centre. The surge in demand follows new fears of a lockdown. People here being encouraged to get a test whether or not they have symptoms. The queues at a drive-in centre in Telford earlier this week also suggest a testing backlog. So the Health Secretary's new plan today for testing millions didn't get the best reception in the Commons. MPs actually laughed. We're piloting this approach right now and verifying the new technology. And then it can be rolled out nationwide. And Mr Speaker, I'm going to depart from my script here because I've heard the naysayers before and I've heard the people on the other side complain we'll never get testing going. And they're the same old voices. Labour claim it's a distraction. Mass testing is too important to become another failed project. It's all well and good, him talking about moonshots and the Prime Minister telling us we'll be tested every morning. Even better would be simply delivering the extra testing that is needed now, not just headline figures. The so-called Operation Moonshot envisages up to 10 million people being tested each day to check if they're COVID-free. At the moment, ministers say there's a capacity for just a fraction of that, around 250,000, and only for people who have symptoms. Only around 175,000 tests are actually being carried out. Fixing the current system should be the priority, says one government advisor. There's no point talking about pie-in-the-sky hopes and wishes about new tests that aren't even in existence, that haven't been tested. Get the current situation working, because that's what we need to get ourselves out of this pandemic. But could this be a glimpse of the future? The London Symphony Orchestra back in rehearsal, thanks to regular testing for all its members. They say their contract with a university-based company means they can be confident they're COVID-free. They tested our full membership, 100 people. And when we knew that everyone was negative, then we started our rehearsal process. And this has enabled the London Symphony Orchestra to get back to work, and it's been a, a real game changer. But for the moment, NHS testing centres actively discourage people without symptoms from getting a test. And with a price tag of perhaps £100 billion, Operation Moonshot is still looking like a long shot. Libby Vina, News at 10, Westminster.